Hey game makers, welcome back. I hope you like that new intro video. That is thanks to Easy Access for those couple of pictures. I made a quick little animation. I didn't have much time to do it because I was focusing on coding, but tell me what you think in the, in the uh, comments below. All right, with that, let's get into why I made this video in the first place. Uh, I came out actually with a new socket IO module. Uh, Netplayer.js, pretty much long and short of it, you can see other players on the map. Uh, I also made a big update to the server, as well as all the game resource JS uh, plugin folders. So, uh, I mean, all the plugin, um, to all the plugins uh, for your game. So, go ahead and re download this. So, we're going to go ahead and re download all of these and get it going. All right, so I've gone ahead and ran a git pull on my. Um, on my server, on my MV Online folder. Uh, so it now has all my game resources stuff. So I'm going to go into uh, JS and plugins. And I am going to bulk copy everything over. So I'm going to copy. And I have my Project 6, which is what we've been working in. Go to my JS folder, my plugins. And I am going to paste. Now I'm also going to hit replace because that's what I'm doing here. Uh, so when we open up our, and uh, you want to, we'll get to that in a minute. So let's go back here. Let's make sure all the server files are updated. Server. Okay. Everything looks like it's been updated properly. I can even check. Add them real quick. Just messed with my configurations, but... I seem to have socket modules that player. Okay, so we have everything all set up. Uh, server should be on 0.1.0 .0 is my latest update. Uh, the biggest difference, if anyone wants to know, I'm going to go a little bit more into this in my dev series. Uh, I'm going to do a whole series on developing with the system. We're going to create a couple of plugins quickly and show you kind of the ins and outs of this. But really the biggest difference is I was using a one socket, one name, global namespace, multiple room scenario. Whereas this, I decided to go with a um, multiple namespace, multiple rooms uh, vision. And there, there's multiple reasons for this. Uh, but the, the, the main thing that you have to understand is you have to um, update all the plugins. Everything. Update everything if you're going to use this, this brand new netplayer.js. Update everything. Get everything up to date. Uh, if you're not sure of what you have to update and what particular, uh, I would make a backup of your configuration config.js, uh, back it up somewhere, and then, you know, bulk download from GitHub and replace the config file. And you should be pretty much good to go. Okay? Excellent. With that said, I am not going to dive into this code too much. We're just going to kind of get on with it, put it into our game, and fire it up. All right, so we just downloaded, uh, we just transferred the files over from our MV Online system. So we went into our game resource, our JS, bear with me a moment. And we bulk copied everything from here to our game project six to our JS plugins folder. Okay, so we bulk copied everything. Um, MV requires, uh, when, when you add something like that uh, it's best to get rid of all these and add them again uh, I'm sure you can double click on it and let it load again and then hit OK and hit apply uh, but my humble opinion uh, for this particular update I would delete them and re-add them it's a little bit of a pain I know but you know we're gonna do this on screen because it takes literally two seconds I know I know we are gonna do this on localhost I'm not setting this up on the server or anything like that on my uh, AWS server, force login, that's fine. Uh, the good thing is all these have like two settings, so it makes it really easy. Yeah, I'll keep it honest, true, why not? Uh, there are metrics and our brand new one, online network players. And this has literally two parameters, a net player map ID and a net player event ID. These are the most straightforward things that you can ever have. Uh, pretty much it tells you which event to copy when somebody joins the map. That's all it is. That, that's all this is. So right now, uh, let's make, we're gonna make a map two. 
and we'll make it event ID one. So really quick, let me make a new map. Uh, this doesn't have to have any land or anything like that. This is purely a spawn map. Uh, you don't have to give it an image at all. Uh, so that should be it, event one. Yeah, that's all you need. All right, so it will spawn this event into whatever map we are in and for every subsequent player who also joins. Okay, with that, let me just make sure. Well, let's fire this up. I don't know what else we need to do, so. Best way to do it is to test. Ah, uh, before I test, do I have my. Uh, let's start the server first. Because that'll help. Alright. Melder's on. And we connect in. Alright, yep, that's all fine. Cool. Alright, so we are connected. So, how do we know if this works? Well. This gets a little bit more complicated, and it's actually one of the reasons why it's been taking so long to get these um, these videos out. Uh, testing is a little bit of a pain with this system. Uh, Windows, I have still not found an efficient way to do it. Uh, I'm, right now, I'm currently in the process of trying to get like local files to run natively on Chrome. There's a few security settings you have to disable, but it's a little easier on Windows than it is on Mac to do. Um, but in Mac, Safari actually works extremely well. We're gonna bust this open and ooh. ooh. Let's fix that. Alright. So we got that all straight away. Let's go ahead and sign. Uh, let, me, let me just refresh these really quick. I wanna make sure they are pulling from that file correctly. So there if anyone doesn't know, there is an index file within your plugin folder. Uh, not your plugin folder, your main project folder. This index.html is what I'm calling uh, for this website. Uh, if you try to do it on like Chrome, uh, it'll tell you can't load actor.json because pretty much you don't have permission. Uh, so if all of this worked out, and it didn't. Huh. There we go. Hey, uh, hoo -ah. there we go. Saving helps. <laughs> Saving in the original file helps. Okay, so as you can see, we have two players on the map moving around, and uh, I even got it to a point where if you go in, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, my apologies, folks. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. If we go into the menu. Looting me right now. There we go. Whew. Wow. Okay. So if we come in here and we switch out with Marsha, you know, Marsha appears on this screen and all this. If you notice, it's kind of choppy. Uh, this is something I've noticed. Um, it has to do with event speed. So the the way that I have this script written. Uh, speed does determine how this uh, event player kind of acts so one of the things if you're dashing uh, I would I would highly suggest a consistent speed no matter what you choose whether it's like a like a slow walk or what have you if it's a slow walk keep it a slow walk if it's a run keep dashing just enabled and let them go quick uh, that, that's the best way I can explain so for dashing I believe faster and at a higher setting so five and four I believe it is so really quick let me just save that let's reload reload and as you can see this is why it takes a little bit of time to get things done uh, I should also make much easier uh, usernames and passwords just to make things go quicker but uh, th this is the reason why things take a while to test Alright, there we go. Uh, notice how it doesn't show somebody until they actually move. And, th and that's a feature I actually built into it. Uh, so that way if somebody's idle and they're not really doing anything, they're not taking up space on your computer. Uh, so yeah, here's what's going on.
you know and once again you can come in here change it change who you want as your character um also i have followers on here uh you, you don't have to have followers i i didn't make it so that followers showed up because that would just be way too many sprites on the screen uh but it, it's certainly possible i mean you can do that i just had no desire to do this i mean there, there's plenty of things that i want to um improve upon with this but this is pretty much the crux of it uh, the way that this is written right now, and I am going to improve upon this, but the way that it is written right now, uh, everyone can see everyone on the map that they're on. So if you're on map one, everyone can see everyone on map one. If you're on map two, everyone can see everyone on map two, etc., etc., etc. I'm going to be coming out pretty soon with a some sort of tag in the map if you don't want to have this. So I could see for like small tavern rooms or, you know, the inside buildings and stuff like that. You might not want everyone to see everyone else. Um, and, you know, slow little imp improvements like that over time. Uh, but I wanted to get this out and kind of showcase what this does, how it works. See what you guys want to do with it. Um, it's all part of the master plan. The master plan to rule the world. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Uh, right now, I'm working on a chat window. Uh, I'm working on a chat window and a chat system. So let me know if there's anything else past that that you guys are thinking about with this system. Okay? With that, later, game makers.